respawn website because I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what's basically coming April 7th through the 21st, which is the Bloodhound event as it's been predicted for a while. So let's honestly get right into it. Let's talk about the good stuff that's coming to Apex because Apex is feeling stale, but Respawn definitely listen to us and honestly i couldn't be more happy like it's a great time to get into apex or get back into apex all right guys so here's everything duels will be added to the game alongside trios which is squads as a well permanent map rotation that gives players the ability to play duels or trios on king's canyon or world's edge we have been asking for this for a very long time and it's about time that they deliver i'm sure it's something they thought about or something that they wanted to do and we just kind of were rushing the process as players but it's understandable i'm sure they understand us as players so we're getting a new town takeover technically this is the second bloodhound event we are getting we're getting exclusive you know skins and we're getting new event cosmetics and the return of the legendary hunt skins which it's great because I didn't get to purchase a lot of those skins. And it would make sense since it is a Bloodhound event once again. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that we are getting this whole point system coming back once again. As you guys see, it goes all the way to 4,000 points. We do get some kind of little charm for the gun. We get a Gibby skin. And we get a skin for... I don't want to guess the wrong gun, but whatever. We get a gun skin. It looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks very cool. Now, I'm very sure that I feel like I missed something, so I'm going to go ahead and read real quick. All right, here we go. So we're going to dive into the Bloodhound Trials where you and your squad battle against a horde of prowlers and claim high tier loot as your reward. So, we're getting some kind of PvE game mode that they're bringing, but beware the most dangerous game. Fellow legends will want to scavenge those goods for themselves. So, I'm going to assume it's going to have a couple of legends, not 60, maybe 15 legends on a PvE mode killing prowlers. You're getting loot. But they are going to run into each other and they're going to have to kill each other and the Prowlers at the same time. So it would make a lot of sense. And I'm sure this is going to be interesting what legend you pick and which legend you don't. Now, let's get into the good stuff. The direct purchase shop. So, April 7th through April 11th, we're going to have the Young Bloodhound skin, Bloodhound Wise Warrior, the Havoc Redemption and a Watson Static Maiden, which looks like a recolor would make sense because of the pro of the um how much it cost. So April 12th, uh okay, it looks like the Young Blood Hunt will be available throughout the whole event to cop. April 12th through the 16th, we're getting a charge rifle skin, which was in the trailer. We're getting a prowler skin, and we're getting a crypto. I'm gonna assume it's a recolor because of the how much it costs. So, once again, Young Bloodhound, April 17th through the 21st, we're getting a Mozambique, which, not sure who actually wants that. That shouldn't cost that. We're getting an Eva 8, and then we're getting a Bloodhound frame, which, ironically, it costs more than these actual skins, which I'm not sure why. And then we're also getting the Return of Skins, which, Voices from the Past will come back April 7th through April 10th. Which is, looks like a recolor. We're getting the R301. And then we're getting an Octane skin as well. Which doesn't look all too bad. Definitely that skin is worth maybe 500 And then April 11th through April 14th. We're getting Outland Warrior once again. We're getting a Spitfire the Bone Saw. And we're getting a Caustic skin. Which eh, once again I believe it should be 500 15 through 18 we're getting Painkiller for Lifeline which looks amazing we're getting a mirage skin which doesn't look too bad finally giving him you know some good skins we're getting a pretty cool flatline skin which looks dope we're getting a pathfinder skin Eh, don't think it's worth a thousand we're getting voices from the past a rave skin april 19th through the 21st which oh okay they're bringing it back into rotation 
And then they're bringing the R301 once again back into rotation the 19th through the 21st. So some of these skins are going to be in and out of the shop for a couple of days just to give you a chance to purchase other skins. As you guys know, the shop isn't exactly too big. You can't have that many skins in the shop that you could search on through what you want to buy, which would be a cool idea in the future if the shop is able to do that. But guys, that's pretty much it. We are getting duels permanently. We're getting a map selector and we're getting a PVE mode for a limited time event, which I'm sure they're testing the waters on this just to see how it works, if people like it, if people play it a lot, if it brings new players in or old players in. And if you haven't quit Apex like me, but you complain every now and then, which is normal, I do it a lot. We're just going to continue the grind in Apex, honestly. I'm very excited. Uh, we'll be live streaming, obviously, the event when it comes out. I can't wait to try the PvE mode. This is something I know Apex has dabbled in a while back. They've just been hesitant on releasing it, but we have been wanting a PvE mode because Battle Royales are fun, but PvE is funner, especially when you can play with friends and also go up against other people. So that's the Bloodhound. Trials in the Old Ways lore event. Let me know what you guys think. What are you guys most hyped about? It is your boy Lucky. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope you're having a great day and night and peace out.